You're such an asshole. Hey everybody, the old captain here. We got a, I was almost gonna do a, a clarity test or at least look it up for myself. We have a clarity test request. If you don't know what the clarity test is, you're a fucking idiot. No, you. <laughs> it is a test I came up with as I noticed that uh, everyone complains about politicians. We got Trump, we need to kick the bums out. And I'm like, well, not until you get rid of these four traits that these assholes have, are you gonna get good quality people in there? So. The four traits are the four questions that I ask of anyone who wants to run for public office, whether or not, I mean, we're going to give them the first level of trust is, do they come from rich parents? Do they have any real world working experience, meaning they worked in the real world, not government, not nonprofits, not teachers, where they fucking mail it in for nine months a year and then three months a year they go twiddle their twat. Um... Was it not rich parent? Oh, did they major in a real subject or did they major in something like, I want to major in education, oh my god. I graduated from high school and I went right to college to major in something that will put me right back to school because I never want to grow up or become an adult. I want to be in education my entire life. I'm so knowledgeable at 17, I want to be a teacher. Oh, helicopter rides for teachers. Anyway, and then the fourth one is, what are they currently doing now? Are they currently working? Are they a politician? Do they, are, are they, you know, do they have a real job that they're, or is it like, uh, and, then, and then it kind of, you know, like, okay, do you have a lot of real world experience and you just got recently elected? In other words, like, are you a career politician or a professor? That's another thing. So, Daniel writes, dear asshole, how much would it cost for a YouTube clarity test on Trump's proposal of Rex Tillerson for Secretary of State and what your opinion is on the matter. Now, Rex, I know him because how the fuck do you forget her name like Rex Tillerson? Fucking dude with the mustache could introduce him. That'd be the coolest guy ever to be the Sergeant of Arms of Congress would be have um, Sam Elliott. That would be cool. That'd be really cool if Sam Elliott was the... Uh, Sergeant, because he announced, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. That's that's the guy. But then he says, Rex Tillerson, Dodge, Ram, Trucks. Anyway, <clears throat> so I knew, studying ExxonMobil, and a guy with the name like Rex Tillerson, like, how the fuck do you forget that? But I'm like thinking, like, what asshole dad who's richer than fuck names his kid Rex? You know, German for king. So I'm already a little bit suspicious, but I fucking love the pick. Because it has nothing to do with whether Rex Tillerson is actually going to be a qualified candidate for Secretary of State. I like it because right now, that just blew the aortas and the brain uh, arteries of all the SJW leftists. Because he just appointed Big Oil's biggest guy to the Secretary of State position. So that's good. So let us take a look. We do this live i don't look up the person before so because i'm curious myself so we're going to take a look at rex tillerson wiki you know wikipedia is not real shut up i know <clears throat> all right early life and education tillerson was born 1952 of wichita falls texas son of patty sue who we and bobby joe but <laughs> it's just you can't make this up Active in the Boy Scouts of America for most of his life, he earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Ah, sorry guys, sounds like a really good dude. Tillerson received uh, a bachelor's degree in civil engineering uh, in 1975. He was involved in the Tejas Club, or the Longhorn Band. Uh, distinguished engineering graduate. All right, so he didn't major in a worthless subject. So he, and by the way, you want a, a low score on this. You want ideally a score of zero, but very few people have that. We found out that... Um, booze runners and gangsters back in the 20s, Prohibition days, are the ones that have the best scores. Uh, and there's no real way to tell whether he came from wealth or not. I'm going to assume that if he came from Boy Scouts of America, he probably didn't come from a really rich family. Uh, but uh, he certainly doesn't get any points because he majored in civil engineering, so that's good. Da, 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 da. Chairman... No, but I mean, the Rockefeller family also want ExxonMobil to invest in more. <clears throat> I'm aware of the resolution. Da, 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 da. All right, ties with Kurdistan, other affiliations. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just trying to find, bear with me. We may have to interrupt the personal life. Oh, married to Redna St. Clair. Oh, here we go. 
Boy Scouts of America, distinguished Eagle Scout. His father was a BSA Boy Scouts of America executive. Uh, Toes and Logs of a supporter. Da, 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 da. Him and his wife are Christians. Uh, you know what? Let me pose this and uh, pause this. Let me see if I can't find anything on because it usually it says something about the family. Usually it says that, but give give the old captain a a, a break here. Okay, we found it. Uh, this is from Fox News, which I know you all call phone news, but uh, unless you guys got a better source, uh, his father was a modestly compensated administrator for the Scouts. Okay, so they did not come from money. They're not like uh, Hillary Clinton. Uh, so he's not a you know born with a silver spoon. He's not. He's not. Barack Obama, he worked for a living, he worked his way up. Uh, his career is, he's always been an engineer, obviously in the private sector and currently in the private sector. Sorry, looks like uh, old Rex here gets a big goose egg, which is the perfect score. So let's, let's review, make sure I did my math right. Worthwhile degree, zero points. Did not come from rich family, zero points. Always worked in the private sector, zero points. Currently working in the private sector, zero points. Rex Tillerson is a guy I'd like to have a beer with, and probably someone I would trust to be Secretary of State. He'd probably be a better president, though, too, but that's that's neither here nor there. So I know this pisses off people on the left when you look at people's background, and unlike you, they actually worked hard and contributed to society and produced value for other human beings. Uh, then you and your little parasitical studies where you get taxpayer bailed out four to eight years of uh, college student loans for free. Um, but yeah, Rex Tillerson is just basically a better person than you. He's a better person than me. So, And we're lucky to have him. And as far as I can tell, we'll find out. But we're lucky to have him as Secretary of State. Best of luck to all of you. Toodles.